Uh, welcome back. So, before we take on the 8th gym, we are actually going to go and fill up some more pages on the Pokedex. So, we are actually going to this abandoned power plant, where we are going to catch our second legendary board for this gym. Uh, Zapdos. After we take on this, uh, Pokemon... Maniac. Rhyhorn versus Dragonair. I still have the move advantage. And I didn't realize Dragonair only still needs five more levels. And also, uh, <laughs> my, uh, Bulbasaur playthrough, uh, we kind of gave up on the Articuno at this time. So, uh, I decided we need to move on. Uh, yeah, Barbasaur line got really screwed, but that is where most of our uh, Pokemon slash uh, evolutions came from. So, can't be too upset about that. Um, I swear. Uh, later gens, I'll have it so where all of them are still playing. Uh, this was basically a test, and if I would redo it again, I would. And make sure that each one could catch the, um, same amount of Pokemon, or have at least the, um, Same progress in the storyline. As you notice, I'm already on the 8th gym on Charmander's. Uh, I still have to do a whole bunch of stuff with B uh, Bulbasaur's line, and Squirtle's been done for like two episodes now. And we call it Voltorb, but we already have it on the list. So that's why the Pokedex hasn't changed yet. So hopefully we can make it through the power plant without all- ooh, a Pikachu. I already have- I don't even know if I evolved my Pikachu from Charizard's line. I know the Squirtle did. But uh... Yeah, if as long as the uh, Volturbs don't learn no self destruct or explosion, it should be fine. I don't know if this is a Pokeball or if it's a Pokemon. And of course, it ends up being a Pokemon, Electrode. Who I actually need. You know, I just made it to Cinnabar without Sabrina's uh, badge. I wonder if I could have took on the Pokemon Mansion at this point. And, of course, we are actually going to pick up the Aerodactyl and the Armanite? No, Armastar. Wait, am I getting this backwards? Hold on, uh, Armor Knight is first, then Armor Star, okay. See, I know what they look like, I just didn't remember who came first. The Knight or the Star. And we have a Magnet Ton. So, this is one of my first mistakes. Uh, I didn't realize I need a uh, Magnet Might and a Magnet Ton in this game. I never caught one. So, luckily for me, it's one of those Pokemon that, um, you can catch in later gens, becomes a decent, uh, electric steel type Pokemon that you catch early on, 
in some of the games. But we will need one for 4th gen. Because we need the Magnet Zone. To add to the Pokedex. So we'll pick that up. And since we're already talking about mistakes. Um, I didn't catch a Star You. Or a Star Me. So, I actually don't know where I'm going in Barbasaur's line. But we should be close to the Zapdos. Luckily, while we're surfing, uh, Venusaur has the advantage. So, I know Magnemite would be caught in Gen 4, and um, Magne no, not Magnemite, um, Staryu will be catch in Gen 7? But I know I will add them to my Pokemon, uh, Pokedex numbers before the end of the series. And we have our electric buzz, which uh, can only be caught in the power plant. So luckily, just two uh, dragon rages won't kill it. Uh, this is the only place you can catch the electric buzzes, and it has to be in fire red. So let's see, one, two, three, cut it. And our Meowth is evolving. Two Pokemon for, in the price of one. Not really at the price of one, but at the same time. Go ahead and take the experience share from the portion. And there's our lovely Leo Zapdos that we need to get. Got one max revive, a couple max potions. I think Rhyhorn may be the uh, VIP for this battle because I think it learn knows um, Lightning Rod, so his Thunderbolt, I believe, won't be any effective against it. Plus, is a ground type. Um, what else? Hey, my uh, Zapdos became a Pikachu. I didn't know this was a Nuzlocke. A randomizer. Just kidding. I uh, Somehow I ended up next to the Zapdos and got caught by a Pikachu. So, so it probably knows Detect. Execute is evolving into Execute, or Executor. I, I really don't know how to pronounce them. And, we already have a Neener Queen, so this is just extra. So it has Shock, or, that was a Shockwave. Agility, Detect. Shockwave, I think. No, not Shockwave. It's uh, the one that paralyzes you. I want to say it has another Thunder type move. Electric, not Thunder. Oh, Drill Pack. Drill Pack Detect. Agility. And something else. And we rearrange our team a little bit. Going north to Pallet Town. Funny thing is, I think I know a Pokemon that knows Fly. But at this point, I'm super lost, so. Ooh, 
Let's see, we need to heal up the Dragonair. Because... Oh, Thunder Wave is the other move. Couldn't think of it. I know it's some kind of wave. So, Detect, Thunder Wave, Drill Peck, and Detect. Or did I say that twice? Agility. Okay. So, Shockwave shouldn't do that much damage. But since it's also a flying type... And we are actually going to catch this Tangela, but we already added it to the Pokedex, so the Pokedex will not change. So, uh, I'm hoping that at this point, I go back to, I want to say Saffron, but I better make sure. Yeah, Saffron City and take on the Silphco. And then hopefully take on Sabrina so I can fly back to uh, Cinnabar and take on Blaine in the manor. Or mansion. And the Zepdos will not stay in Ultra Balls, and I will not use my Master Ball against him. Because that would be a waste. Uh, since it doesn't really have a Thunder type, Electric type move, um, I should be okay. So I'll just start chucking Pokeballs at it, so. Let's see. Yep. I sped this up. And some of them won't even shake once. Come on. Ooh, finally, all three. Zepdos data has been added to the Pokedex. Zepdos and Moltres, the electric Pokemon. You know the fine thing is? Moltres is the only one that isn't a very, um, catastrophic, uh, weather effect. You have Articuno that only appears during blizzards. Zapdos is thunderstorms. Moltres is just a very hot day. Why'd I go back to Cinnabar? Because I already have Blaine's badge. And we caught the Tangela, but we already added it to the Pokedex, so. Uh, most of these episodes are just going to be uh, me playing through, uh, trying to get level ups. Um, not very many Pokemon left for me to catch. Oh, I remember why now. This is the part of the game where I try to take on Articuno in the Fire Red version. Yeah, I tried to get past her, and uh, she turns around. Apparently her daddy works at the uh, lab. Yeah, I'm trying to get back to Saffron, but I don't think I can use Fly. Actually, I think I can, because it doesn't... Um, the soul badge allowed me to use fly. All right, so we pick it up to Dudo. 
No, we don't. Did we? No portion that nose cut. So, Ashley, we are going up to Diglett Cave. Take Diglett Cave all the way to Vermilion, I believe it is. Let me make sure. Yeah, take it to Vermilion or Route 11. Go to Vermilion, go up Route 6 to Saffron. Well, still trying to get Cubone to level up. The other problem is these Diglett and Duck Trios are only level like 19, high teens, low 20s. With a rare exception from here and there. Uh, Charizard's lineup has made it to Seafoam Island. Uh, we don't have to catch any Pokemon in here. Uh, it's just solving the puzzle and making it to Arnakuno. Though, I th don't think you can get it from Cinnabar Island. I think I have to go back to... Uh, Fuchsia City. Because I think you go from Fuchsia, 19, Seafoam, and then the other side of... A seafoam go to 20, then Cinnabar. Unless I can get to the other pathway from here, which I don't think I can. And I don't even know why I was fishing inside the uh, Cerulean Gym. No, wait. I think I was trying to fish because I need, uh, I think I still need the polywag line. Yeah, I also sped this up because, uh, fishing, or surfing, and a whole bunch of trainers, kind of a bad matchup. And takes forever. But luckily, I have Shockwave on Dragonair. And we are officially in the Sufco uh, company over in Bulbasaur's line. So, which means a lot of grinding for some of the lower level Pokemon and progress with the storyline. Um, basically, as soon as we catch Articuno, or at least try to anyway, uh, we can take on Giovanni. I didn't know there was Psyducks in here. Well, I think Psyducks and the uh, Slowpokes are these uh, Vorjan exclusives. I just hope I brought a Pokemon that knows uh, Strength. Hopefully, I still have uh, Miss Nino. Because she's uh, technically my uh, Asian slave. With Cut, Rock Smash, Strength, and Surf, I be believe. And of course, our Nine Tails is taking out this Magnet Might with a Flamethrower. I think these goons are only like level 20s. So, even if they bring out any decent Pokemon, I can easily take them out. Yeah, and just like the other two, I got lost.
And we are taking the fast path all the way down here. Come down here and grab this item. Which... Oh, it's an Ultra Ball. Yeah, the only difference between this one and Bubble Sir is uh, I actually brought a whole bunch of Ultra Balls. You know the funny thing is? That I just remembered. I played through all three of these games. I didn't run into one shiny Pokemon. And... It kind of bugs me a nut. And we found a Water Stone. Yeah, so basically in all three areas, Mount Ember, Seafoam Island, and Power Plant, you can find the evolutionary evolutionary stones. Uh, water, Thunder, and Fire. In case if you uh, don't want to buy it. But uh, if you want the Vicparion, Jolteon, and Flareon early on in the game, Especially since you could just go buy the stone you want. Right there in uh, Celadon. With the Eevee. And we picked up a revive. So uh, let's judge our team. Um, we are going up against like, Articuno. An ice type. Ice flying type. I have a Dragonair. A Dragon type. Which is... Two times weak to ice. If it ever, if it evolved before this, it would have been four times weak. Because Dragon Knight is f Dragon Flying. Uh, Charizard. I want to say is only one times weakness now, because Fire and Water, or Fire and Flying. Let's see. Yeah, because when it evolved, uh, it took on half of the uh, weakness of ice. But since it's also part fire, it only makes it uh, times one instead of times two, like normal. Um, how come I can't think of it if it has another attacking move? I know it has Mind Reader, Ice Beam, Agility, and it should have one more move, but I can't think of it. But uh, anyway, um, let's see, Jolteon uh, has the advantage being a Electric type against a Flying type, and that's really it. Yeah, Dudonk. He's a basic seal Pokemon, but uh, it actually works. Him and seal. I always like seal. Especially when you first meet him in the uh, Cerulean Gym in the anime. And just like the other cave, I actually got lost. Uh, not really sure where we're hiding out in the Silco company. All I know is we need to heal up. So, which means we haven't gotten the card key yet. Because you need the card key to get to the beds. Then, uh, yeah, take on the rest of the team against the Articuno, uh, makes no sense because they're super weak. Or low levels, I wouldn't say they're super weak. But then again, uh, that's kind of what happened to my Bubble Sir line.
I believe this is the part where we have to push both boulders into the holes. Though, uh, Dragonair is getting some decent experience. But once again, ice type. Can't really do much. And yeah, we're going down the hole. And I believe we can finally take on Arnakuno. There you are. And yeah, we're going to heal up. Actually, we're switching out and making it a Ash versus Nolan battle. I think that was the uh, Frontier Brain's name. I used the Arnakuno. Alright, so, start off with an Aerial Ace, Mind Reader, I think I'm just going to keep using Aerial Ace, Flamethrower will probably faint it, uh, Metal Claw shouldn't have that much advantage against it, actually, I think isn't Ice weak against... Uh... Steel? Yeah, uh... Yes it is! So using Metal Claw would not work. And I'm gonna speed it up. Because I'm just... At this point, just hurling Pokeballs. And we finally got the key card, so we can make it all the way up to, uh... Giov and nope, we have a blue battle. Then we can take on Giovanni. And we finally caught the third legendary, Arno Kuno. Even though it should have been first. We went in reverse order, but we got all three. What was I trying to use? Uh, oh, the verse seeker. That's what I actually hit the button for. Wait. Why am I f- Oh, wait, I think I have to get a cloister. Or a shelter, at least. Let's see here. I don't know where else you can get a cloister or a shelter. And of course, we pick up a Gyarados. Could take it out with a Thunder Wave, or Shock Wave. I hate this goon. Because he is so far away that he shouldn't be able to see us, but... He sees us anyway because of... Plot, I guess? I don't know. Even though he's hiding right there in front of the beds. We reeled in a Psyduck. And luckily, Cubone knows uh, Boomerang. Or is it Boomerang in this gen? I don't know. It's a uh, ground type, so him getting some decent level ups. Yeah, I can't get it in this area. So we need... If I think what I'm thinking, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use an escape route. Fly to Cinnabar. Or Surf, one of the two. After battling this trainer. 
and uh, I'm right fish. Yeah, I didn't realize I already battled that trainer, so... Looks like uh, we're just going to grind up uh, Dragonair some more. Let's see, Hersey, Shockwave. Before the Elite Four, I think I go and get the um, TMs for like some of the upgraded moves. Not the full-on power-up moves like uh, Thunder, Fire Blast, and Blizzard. But at least the Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and Flamethrower. And of course I run into this double battle. So, uh, over in Bulbasaur's line, we are taking on Blue. We just took out his Alakazam with, uh... Thick Porion that knows Bite. And take out his Charizard with, uh... Thick Porion also. Water against, uh, water. Water against fire, not water against water. I never knew this group was down here. And what was I thinking? Sending out nine tails against Charizard, even though they're both fire types, but he's also part flying. So, I think my chop should be able to evolve soon. It's either 26 or 28. If it's 26, I think he's able to. And uh, Dragonair is, after this battle, probably Three more levels from evolving. Oh, Cubone is evolving. Yeah, I still like the um, Cubone a lot better than Marowak, but can't win them all. And we're going to go back and heal up. How do you think my Charizard? Oh wait, that was still fainted from the Arnokuno battle. And after this grunt, we should be able to take on Giovanni. With uh, Venusaur and Victorion. Because he should be uh, just ground types, if I'm not mistaken. Even though these episodes are like so close together, it's actually taking me a little longer to uh, record these. So, even though I may have faced him two episodes ago, I don't remember what happened. Alright, we use the key card, and up here is uh, Giovanni. As soon as I switch up, uh, Machop for. Eh, Victorion, apparently. Uh, apparently, we are not switch training him.
All right, uh, we took out his Nita Ran. Uh, no, Nita Reno. Nita Queen is next. Uh, Rhyhorn. And I want to say he should have uh, Kangaskhan. And I think I ran out of PP for Shockwave. Yeah, I was seeing if, uh... Machamp could take out this, uh... Kangaskhan, but... I don't think it was going to happen. And of course, I faint the first shelter I get. And we picked up a Gyarados. Uh, basically as soon as I catch it, I can use the Water Stone to evolve it into Cloister. But here comes the fun part, trying to catch it. And, uh... Talk to the president, and we are officially ready to take on Sabrina, if I'm not mistaken. Because we should be able to take on Sabrina, fly to Cinnabar, uh, do the mansion, do Blaine's gym. And what else? And then do the island series. But luckily for me, I can skip the Mount Ember for right now. And the cloister, that shelter we just got by fishing in Cinnabar, uh, is evolving into cloister because of the water stone. So, gotta make my team again. Do I move the Mulchus, Zapdos, and Ornikudo down a little bit? Let's see. Okay, so next episode we should be able to fly to Viridian City and take on Giovanni, get our 8th badge, and then take on Route 22 and Victory Road. And hopefully get Dragon Nair to evolve, so... I'm going to let the rest of this episode play out, and I'll see you guys later.